She is so pretty. The dry down, everything. You want that powdery, sexy, just full of goodness. Ladies, ladies, and gentlemen, this is Amber coming to you with the Fray View, coming to you with another video review. And today we are going to get into my top five picks from my February tray. So if you're interested in seeing some of the things that I was rocking this month, just keep watching. Hello, family. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, family. Hey, and if you're new to this channel, my name is Amber, and on this channel, we review fragrances and body care, and we spill, sip a little tea from here and there. Your sis may go left, but it's okay. Just subscribe, give me the thumbs up, comment down below. We'd love to get to know you and meet you, and hey, family. Hey, hi, brothers, aunties, uncles, cousins, sisters, aunties, nieces. How y'all do? I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are doing really well. Well, we're going to make this video hopefully quick. Y'all know how I do. I'm going to try. We're going to make this quick. I just want to show you all some of the things that I was wearing on my, or the top things that I was wearing on my tray for the month of February. Now, I will say, I don't know what was wrong with your sis, but she was in her bag. She was in her bag this month, and I'm trying to get my summer spring wardrobe up i'm trying to like get some things that i wanted on my wish list and so i've been trying and testing different things okay so i have not been able to like tap tap into my tray a lot this month so i will say i did not do probably the best job this month for the month of february trying to you know get things off my tray because i honestly been testing stuff i've been testing stuff y'all um but I wanted to quickly just come on and kind of give you all just a quick roundup of what I have gotten or been wearing from my tray. Um, Cause I wanna just be consistent with you all and some of you all really enjoy this type of video and I just wanna give you all what you all like cause y'all my family and if I can do it, honey, let's just do it, okay? Even though I'm just, you know, running on real quick cause then I gotta get back to work. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Um, no, I'm on lunch. But let's get into this really quick so I can go back to the people. All right. First up, we have a beauty. Okay. This is from the House of Oud Keep Glaze. I have been rocking this down. If you all do not have this, if you all have never heard of the House of Glaze, I mean, excuse me, the House of Oud and you all have never heard of Keep Glaze, and you're like, sis, I've heard of I've heard of House of Oud, and I just didn't know where to start, or I've never heard of the House of Oud, and I'm trying to figure out which one I should purchase first. Where do I begin? Whatever spectrum you are on, Keep Glaze, I would say start there. Cause then I feel like you'll be like, oh, I want some more, oh, I want some more. Or even House of Pop, or uh, What About Pop, I think it's called. That one is a good one if you are a gourmand lover. But I just feel like even if you like gourmands or you like fruit, this is so good. This is fire. I ain't never said it. This is fire, okay? She is fire. All right, let's get into the notes. So we have mango, strawberry leaf. Ice lemon, middle notes we have whipped cream, coconut, ginger. Base notes we have some fruity notes, some musk, some wood, honey. This is so good. When I tell you, if you like a good mango, if you like a good fruit, but you want like something a little bit more sexy, or oh, and it speaks so loud, or something with some oud, but just if if you're trying to start in oud, and you're like. I don't know, sis. Like, ooh, ain't never been my friend. Honey, I'm going to say I would start here. I'm just going to say 
I will start here. Keep glaze. Ooh, baby. Honey, and I was nervous about it too, right? Because you get the oud and you like house of oud. Honey, that that just that just sound like a whole bunch of a lotness. It just it just sound heavy. It just sound heavy. A house of oud. What? What that mean? Trust me. Keep glaze is what you want. This is she fire. She she so fire. <laughs> And it lasts long. So it's projecting and you don't feel like, like you don't, it's fruity, but you don't feel like it's immature. Highly recommend this, honey. Rocking this out. Keep glaze, house of ooh, get it. Moving on. Next up, what was I wearing for the love day? Sis, what was you wearing for the love day? Honey, I'm gonna just show her. And I paired her with Fashionably London. This is Zara. I paired this together. And this is what I was wearing for Valentine's Day. If you all don't know, this is Parfums de Marley. I just talked about her. Okay. I'm not going to stay on her long. This is a whole... This is this is very good. Okay. Very, very good. Get this, honey. If you don't have Delina Parfums de Marley, highly recommend that you put on your wish list or that you get it. This is, this is a classic. This is really good. This is what I was wearing on Valentine's Day. Honey, I was I was working on the Valentine's Day. But I just wanted to pull her out. Because I just... I just wanted to... I wanted to be pretty and cute. And I wanted people to smell me. And this is when my mom complimented me. If you catch my last video. Like, it was just good. Like, she's everything. Okay, moving on. Next up, I took it back. Oh, I took it, took it, took it back. Mm, mm, mm. And if you're new to this channel, I do outbreaks and dancing. I mean, those that know me, I teach dance. I'm a dance teacher in my, you know, spare time, all of that. So you won't catch a little one, two. Mm, mm. You won't catch that, you know. It's okay. Just subscribe. Okay. And I have Poison Girl. Okay. I had to take it back. Take it back. This. Who? Do, do y'all have Poison Girl? Okay. This is the eau de toilette though. Okay. This is the eau de toilette one. So I, I want to point that out there. But this don't. This don't act like a normal eau de toilet. This don't act like your normal one, two. She is so pretty. The dry down, everything. You want that powdery, sexy, just full of goodness. Honey, get you Poison Girl eau de toilet. Like, yeah. Highly recommend you get your, your life with this one. Okay, let's go over some of the notes. All right, notes we have frosted orange, bitter orange, lemon, middle notes, orange blossom, neroli. We have some Damascus rose. We have some vanilla, some caramel, some taco beans, some cashmerian. Honey, we have it all. Everything. 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 Okay. Tonka, vanilla, citrus, orange blossom. <laughs> I love her. It was so good and refreshing and loud to me. I mean, powdery, it, 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 everything. Like, everything that I wanted to experience in the month of February, it was that, okay? Highly recommend you add this to your collection. This might even be discontinued. I don't know. You can probably find it on a discounted site. But if you can or you see it, grab it, get it, and go. If you have it, you already know what I'm talking about. Okay? Moving on. Next up, I have, when I tell you, she is just so... I want to say classy, but she is so... 
she is beyond the standard. You know, she is not the standard. She is that not only well put together, but just all the time consistent across the board. So if Silk was a woman, this would be her. <laughs> woman in gold. I'm telling you, if Silk and just like the feeling of how Silk fabric, like how that just does on your skin and feel. If Silk was a woman, Killian's woman in gold would be, would be her. Like, honestly. Ooh, when you, when, honey, when you talk about beyond the standard, like this so good. Like, honestly, I could see someone in church wearing this, but it would be almost like, Girl, what you doing at your, are you the, like the first lady? Happy Sunday, Esther. Happy Sunday, Georgina. Uh, are you the like, the treasurer? What, what you do? Cause you got to have some type of title or something like, like, this like Michelle Obama would wear something like this. I would think Oprah, Oprah and Gail wearing this. Like, this is such a lovely scent. Highly recommend, especially if you like um, vanilla. And I'm not saying like um, like this is like like for like an older woman. Like I'm like don't get me wrong on that. Like this is just that next level of a woman. You know, just her title speaks volumes. Like I ugh, get this, get, get this. I was rocking this outfit. Get this, okay? <laughs> Let's go over the notes. So we have top notes, bergamot, mandarin orange. We have some vanilla in here. We have some freesia. We have some vanilla, some um, tonka beans, some patchouli. We have all types of notes up in this beauty right here, right here. This girl right here, oh. But, but she wouldn't be doing that. Uh, what, what I just did, that's not what this <laughs> type of woman would do. Again, think of Silk. Just, she would be like floating on water. She would just be walking on water. She, you know, the diamond. You talk about like, she, she is the diamond. Like this, elevated, okay? Make sure you get this. Put this on your wish list. This is a must have, okay? Head turner, this would even be good at a wedding. If you were wearing like, say say you were going to a wedding and it was an all white wedding, this is what you would wanna wear. If you were going to an all white party, this is what you would wanna wear. Like, like it's that type of thing. Okay, moving on. Next up, I have a combination. Combination for ya, woo! Okay. Tom Ford Noir, honey. Okay, this is a classic. We know her. If you are a part of the fragrance world, she's not new. She's not new to the streets, okay? Not new to the fragrance streets at all, okay? But let me tell you what I did do. Because I was feeling a little, little cake, a little ice cream, a little sundae, okay? So I paired it, combined it with there we go. Imaginary authors, a whiff of a waffle cup, honey. Don't, uh, just uh, tread easy, okay? If you're going outside, tread easy. You're going to get compliments. If you don't want compliments and you don't want that type of attention, don't wear this. Don't, don't even look at this. If you don't want that type of attention, this ain't for you, okay? This is not for you, cause people gonna walk up to you and uh, compliment you. Like it's it's gonna cause a ruckus, like for real. Really good. I should have put this on my <laughs> complimentary list, but I thought I was like, uh, I'm gonna be so redundant to put this on here and then put this on what I. So I'm just bringing it to you now. But it should have been on my most complimented current compliment list. This together, if you have this. Please put this together and then talk to me down in the comment section, okay? 
When I tell you, you want to be sexy, but you want to add a little gourmand, a little bit of fun with your fragrance, you're like, oh, I don't want to be this serious. I just want to put a little bit of a playful, but I want them to take me seriously, but I don't want them to kind of get the wrong impression like they can't approach me, that they can still compliment me, that I can, you know, still bring in, bring all the boys to the, uh, like, you know, all that, all that, okay? Th this was good. Okay, that's it. This was a better. So, if you have this, again, tell the family. Because, you know, sometimes people don't be believing me. And I don't know why they don't be believing me. But this, this gonna hurt them. So just tread lightly, okay? Watch where you going in them streets, okay? <sighs> this is a whiff of waffle cone. It's ice cream. We'll put the notes up. But it's ice cream. It's caramel. It's just... Cake it a cake ice cream scent, okay? <laughs> ice cream shop. This is your orange blossom, your amber, your rose. Sexy. This is your sexy type of fragrance, okay? So put rose, amber, sexiness, vanilla. Mix it with an ice cream cone. I I'm done. Just, just, just be careful, okay? Tread light. All right, moving on. Well, that is all, family. That is all for my top picks from my February tray. Hey, and what were you rocking for February? I would love to know. What were your top picks for the month of February? Put it in the comment section. Let's chat it up. Because you know I use this like a little thing. So I like to know what you're wearing. So I know, like, <laughs> I need to be on that train. Okay? Hook me up. All right? Well, you all, make sure you subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Comment down below. We'd love to get to know you and meet you. And hey, family A, make sure that you are good to yourself. Give yourself some grace. And if no one has told you that you are more than enough, toot, toot, hmm, tell them your sis just did. All right. Bye, family. I love you. Bye.